Now we are going to cover the transaction codes that are used in this tutorial. Below are the transaction codes we are going to use in this tutorial. This SAP transaction code can be used in SAP, in any SAP finance customization. Okay, so SC37, where you will be creating function models, the BTs, you create, you need a function group before you create a function model. It's like a parent child relationship. FIBF, this is for business transaction event, which we'll be using for FBL1N, FBL5N, and FBL3N. Now, FBL1N, vendor line item display, this is used heavily for accounts payable stuff. This is used. This is like the bread, and uh, this is like 70% uh, of the times the accounts payable is you going through this transaction. And they want to customize the fields, they want to bring in stuffs, they want to populate standard fields that is not populated. We'll, we'll cover that. FBL5N, customer line item list. Any, any companies that have sales and distribution, they need FBL5N because they know when they will receive some money or or something is pending or anything. FBL3 and GL account line item display. Uh, finance transaction that every accountant will be using. Okay. SE84 is object navigator where you can put web service and all those things. Uh, FS10, this is something GL account display. That's another one that accounting uses heavily. There's another variation. We'll cover FS10. There's a reason we'll cover also FS10 because there's there's lots of usage. There's a difference between FS10N and FS10, especially in S4 HAN. And then you have SQUI, where we'll create queries in S4 HANA that will give you uh, a new look on anyone who is moving to S4 HANA or already moved in S4 HANA. I'm pretty sure you don't have this portion and you would love this. And you, the moment you see this tutorial, and you see this uh, query that we built, you're going to implement it first thing in your system. And uh, if you haven't moved, you'll keep it in mind and you'll implement it whenever you need it, okay? Whenever you're moving to S4. So these are all the transaction codes that we are going to cover in this tutorial, as well as the, uh, we also will cover something on the baddies, SE18, but that we will see it in the video.